Hello Soap fans, it's Bradford Anderson here to bring you the Young and the Restless spoilers for the week of May 6th. Brought to you, of course, by DailyDrama.com. A lot going on in Genoa City. Let's get to it. Jack is in a sad state and he can't exactly hide what happened, especially since he didn't come home at night. Yes, he kicks off the week by clumming clean to his wife. He has no choice but to tell Diane the truth and endure her wrath and yes, there will be wrath. Jack threw years of sobriety out the window and nearly died in the process. Diane warned him to steer clear of Nikki's drama and just look, she was right. Over at the Newman Ranch, Victor heads to the dungeon to give Jordan a taste of her own medicine. This woman has nearly killed them tormented his wife, and continues to ruin lives. Victor's had enough. It's time for Jordan to pay, and pay dearly. Just wait until you see what he has in store for her. It seems Victor needs to be a bit more careful while dealing with his captive. He almost gets caught on Tuesday and has to cover his tracks with coal. Victor keeps sticking to his story that Jordan drowned while running from his security team, but what will he do if, or when, the truth comes out? He better hope it never does. The Battle of the Altars continues as Ashley's personalities fight for control. Her evil persona fully intends on running amok and murdering Tucker, and it's up to her sweet southern persona to squash that plan. Poor Ashley is in for another fight in her head, and there's not much she can do to stop it, unless, of course, her family finally forces her to get help. Sounds like that wouldn't be a bad idea. Wednesday is a hard day for Lily. She has a tough decision to make and isn't sure which way to lean. Does this have to do with Daniel's lawsuit? Devin and, and Billy's battle? Imagine if she found out Nate and Devin want to take over the company and she decided to team up with Billy. What a mess that would make. Speaking of Nate, he decides to test the waters with Audra. She may be all about Tucker right now, but will that change if Nate starts flirting? They've toyed with the idea of being together before, and while she says she's loyal to her man, who knows? Maybe, just maybe, Nate is the better option for romance. It seems Jordan's getting super desperate. On Thursday, she tries to strike another deal with Victor. She doesn't have much to barter with, though. Harrison is safe, Claire is safe, Nikki's getting help. Jordan is the only loose end here. She has nothing Victor would want or need. Or does she? Is there another trick up her sleeve? Jack and Diane's marriage is holding together by a thread since his night of pill popping. Diane puts her foot down with her man and tells him how it's gonna be from now on. Diane can handle a lot, but this is too much and too far. Diane gives him a shocking ultimatum, and if he balks, she'll be out the door. Jack isn't the only one Diane has it out with this week. She and Phyllis get into it on Friday. These women love getting those claws out and getting under each other's skin. This time will sting a little more than usual, though. Phyllis knows exactly what buttons to push and really gets Diane heated. Watch out, Red! If history tells us anything, an angry Diane is a dangerous Diane. Rounding out the week is Victor taking center stage once again. He's juggling quite the scheme, and he needs to keep those cards close to his vest. He can't let the truth get out about his basement dweller or his plans for her. One bad move, and it could all go very, very wrong. Do you want more spoilers? Check out DailyDrama.com for all your spoilers, news, recaps, storylines, commentary, red-hot speculation. Uh, don't forget to get on our email list so you're eligible for all our cool, cool giveaways. Subscribe here to our YouTube channel. Hit the notification button so you don't miss any of your soapy, soapy needs. And check out the Daily Drama Podcast with your friends, Stephen Brown.